Have you ever not... done like therapy or whatever before? You think? I mean, it might be oh, good for you, no? It's, amazing. It's super overrated. It's one of the most overrated movies oh, of all really? time. Yeah. How soon do you try to meet with people you're chatting on Tinder? As soon as possible. Don't waste time talking on the app. I like my whole life since I was like about 16. It's been very like do or die. People who are like 20 to 30 like just don't drive anymore. It seems really weird. I'm pretty sure I'm like pretty much the exact same person in real life as I am on the internet. Um, I um so I like just discovered this wonderful thing called hentai. You should talk to that Harvard guy, dude. Boas, you'd be a great candidate. Oh, but I'm... I have way too many. It'd be great. It'd be very emotional. We'd get to see you open up and cry. It'd be beautiful. I actually would. Yeah. Oh, I would whimper like a fucking, like a little. Yeah. Have you ever not... done like therapy or whatever before? You think? I mean, it might be oh, good for you, no? That's the in five minutes I can list like, or in five seconds I can list like some of the hardest shit that people have to go through. It's all happened to me, and I haven't dealt. Do you think it might be a good idea to do that at some point? Yeah, it's expensive though. Don't have money. I mean, even on your own to That's like true. think about it and go through it at some point? I literally, this happened like a couple weeks ago. I was like looking for a therapist and it's like, I convinced myself it was financially irresponsible. It was like too expensive. And I'm like, I don't want to kill myself or anything. Um, yeah, I understand. But I'm saying like, even on your own without a therapist, like you can still spend like, like <clears throat> people underrate what it means to like sit down and spend like dedicated time just sitting and thinking about a particular problem like it's different oh, no, than just I've passing done that. yeah I, i'm one of those people who uh people are gonna think i'm lying like this isn't a thing but this is the best way i can describe it is that like all i can do is when something horrible happens and something's like earth shattering to you mm -hmm. i can't do anything but just think about it until i internalize it and i like move past it but i'm sure that there's a lot of shit that I just said that I moved past it and convinced myself mm -hmm. that still fucks me up on a daily basis. Hmm. Have you tried thinking about it like after the fact? Like it, the immediacy of a problem can kind of fuck your thoughts up or taint your thoughts about it too. Sure, but once I convince myself that I've, you know, fixed it or whatever, then i convinced I don't need to think about it anymore. Okay. I think that therapy is really, really good. I It is really expensive, but... If you're really struggling with your mental health, it's an investment in like your long-term happiness. You know, like your quality of life can really, really improve if it works for you. It just sucks that it's inaccessible. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm, if I live somewhere where it wasn't so one thirty a.m. It's like uh, two hundred and fifty dollars an hour or something. Hour. Just take my. Have you? Uh, there's there's this Korean movie that came out that people are saying is like the best movie of all time. Like mm -hmm. Parasite. Harold, it is like the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should go see that too. It's very, yeah, very, that's very, 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 very. It's amazing. It's super overrated. It's one of the most overrated movies oh, of all really? time. Yeah. <laughs> It's like pretty good. I think people literally just like it because it's in Korean, so they think it's like the cool thing to like it. But it's super ultra I mean, overrated. Have you seen Old Boy? I, I have, but it's so long ago. Is is Old Boy the one where he like he keep he captures the dude and releases him and does it over and over again to fuck with him or whatever? Because the guy like robbed and killed his family or wife or something. No, it, it's one where he fucks his own daughter. Oh fuck! Maybe I saw a different. They remade it like a U.S. version, but the the big plot twist is like. Boom, I fucked my own daughter. Because he, like, fucked some guy over, and then the guy spent a lot of time trying to, like, fuck him back over, and how he somehow convinced him to fall in love with his daughter that he didn't know was his daughter, and he didn't know she was his dad. And that was, the, like, the end. It's like, boom, you fucked your daughter, bitch. And that was, like, the biggest plot. I don't care Daffodils. if I spoiled it. It's, like, 20 years old. Shut up, you fucking loser. I don't give a fuck about spoilers. That's fine. Yeah, I know. I've been hanging out with you. I, what's yeah. like the best movie out right now? Can we spoil? No, I don't wanna, that's mean. Star oh, Wars is out in like four it. days if you want to go do that. Spoil the Mandalorian for everyone. Baby Yoda dies in episode six. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Baby Yoda dies? I don't know. I've never even seen it in my entire life. I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Baby Yoda, everyone's freaking out like they love the little memes, but I hate that ugly green fucker. He looks like a booger. I'd punt that. Again, I don't care Pump about it? Star Wars. Pump it full of what? No. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck baby yo. Wait, does consent matter when it's like interplanetary beings? Yeah, oh, wouldn't it? No shit, I didn't mean consent. It's a baby. <laughs> Come on. I mean, like, how old is baby Yoda, right? Because he lived to be like, what, 5,000 years old? So is baby Yoda really like 45 in human years? Could you fuck baby Yoda or is that... <laughs> Damn people weird. have lolly fetishes, mm. right? And they say, oh, I'm a 30,000 year old, 11 year old or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the same thing. Is it? 
He's 50, see? Oh, He's I a went... 50 year old. I went to a vegan restaurant, Peach. You would have been so proud of me. Wait, what did you eat? Um, it was That's like... Awesome. What? That's awesome. Yeah, did mac and like cheese it? and lasagna. Yeah, of course. Yum. Vegan mac and cheese is really good. I think most vegan cheeses are actually really good. I don't... I, I think they're fine. Really? I can't tell the difference between them and like normal cheese, no. That's a hot take. I, is it really? It a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vegan cheese tastes like shit. Maybe no, it's just because I've only been to like really nice vegan restaurants, but if I go to any mm -hmm. vegan restaurant, it feels like the main attractor dish they usually say is like, try the vegan mac and cheese, it's really good. That's That seems to be mm -hmm. the case in every vegan, in every nice vegan restaurant I've been to. True. Um, it took me a while to find a vegan cheese that I liked, but mm -hmm. there are definitely really good ones out there. Are you a vegan? Mm-hmm. Do you miss meat? Stop. Um, like, I like the taste of it, yeah. but there are vegan <laughs> alternatives, right? Dude, Stop. it's like, you that's the hardest it. thing. It's like, it actually tastes so um, fucking good. I don't know anyone who says, like, you meat tastes bad. <laughs> they just yeah. are vegan for other But there are vegan alternatives, which are really, really similar. Plus, like, as much as I miss the taste of it, like, it's... The reasons why I went vegan kind of make it worth it. How soon do you try to meet with people you're chatting on Tinder? As soon as possible. Don't waste time talking on the app. Really? I'd say, um, yeah, 100%. Um, chatting too much, you're... Uh, if you spend too much time chatting, you're going to lose to somebody else that, like, just went for the meeting in real life. Because as soon as they found somebody that's willing to meet them in real life or whatever, they're just going to... You're ghosted at that point. Mm, I don't agree. Okay. I think that, like... Like, if someone just wants to meet, like, straight, like, off the bat, I feel like you don't get to know them as well. Yeah, um, possibly, yeah. but I mean... Maybe it depends on what you're using Tinder for. Yeah, I guess. I've never, um, I've had several what I consider to be, like, hook, line, and sinker conversations. Like, if these are people that I knew, that? like, um, what? What's a hook, line, and sinker? Like, we're like, we clicked like pretty well where the responses oh, were really okay. good on both sides. And I feel like, yeah, this is like definitely, I'm definitely gonna see this person. And then randomly I'll just get ghosted. Um, that's like trying to like keep a conversation up via like Tinder for like several days. Um, and then eventually it's like, okay, whatever. But like, if I mm -hmm. feel like I clicked decently well with a person, I usually by like after the first or second day, I'll try to get a phone number and then set up like a coffee date or a dinner date or something after. I've had a lot more success with that than trying to like keep the conversation going for several days. Um, yeah. Once I get ghosted, um, I, I just leave it. Like if somebody doesn't respond to like, I'd say like two messages most. Um, like if I, if you don't respond to the last message I sent and then a couple days later, I throw like a, Hey, how you doing or whatever? And yeah, I don't get a response. I figure it's done. And I'm, yeah, fuck that. Oh yeah. I heard you giving, um, advice to Mr. Mooton on moving out and it scared me so much Why? because I want to move out soon and I felt like I was like in a similar position to him and I was like, Oh no, am I being really dumb wanting to move out? Maybe, like, my advice comes from like a very different area. So you're you're probably fine. You seem like you're fine. Really? Yeah. Um, I like my whole life since I was like about sixteen. It's been very like do or die. Like I don't really have anybody to help like pay any bills or like anybody to help me with anything ever. Like pretty much my entire life. So I'm always of the mindset that like if you're gonna fuck something up, like you can't pay your bills. Like it's like the end of your life. Because um, it kind of that's how it's always been for me. But I guess like if you have like family that will like take you in or like help you cover shit or whatever, like you're probably fine. Like I, I I'm probably making it like way more dramatic. Like with Mr. Mooton, I think I made it way more dramatic than it needed to be. Like worst case scenario, he, like his family can help him cover fucking rent. They're not gonna let him like file bankruptcy or some shit. Like that's just me yeah. like thinking. Yeah, like I'm personal. I'm projecting like really hard on his life situation there. Actually, the more I think about it. Hmm. So you never got that kind of support from your own family? No, never. Sorry. No, it's not good. It's fostered a great sense of independence. That's really good. I notice that more and more, like kids, kids, like people who are like twenty, to, people who are like twenty to thirty, like just don't drive anymore. It seems really weird. But it also might be just because of where we grew up. Like I grew up in Nebraska, and if you live even in Omaha, you kind of have to drive. Yeah, I probably should know how to drive them. But I live in a place where I can get around with our like, transit system. Um, 
and I don't really want to own a car. Like, it's a liability. It's not a smart investment. Unless you need it to get to work and stuff. Um, but since I don't need one, I would only be getting it for, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's no, like, yeah. It's crazy how confident you are on the internet, but, like, IRL, you're a big puss. What do you mean? Like, I'm pretty you're like confident, that, IRL. Like what are you those... talking about? No, you're not. You're, like, a sad little... I'm pretty sure I'm like pretty much the exact same person in real life as I am on the internet. I'm... Destiny, look at the clips of you like in IRL, like when you're in IRL streaming. Yeah, that I'm shit's a incredible. I'm a polite person. People seem to think that like I walk around and I like, hey, can you like give me an order of fries or whatever? You fucking piece of shit, you worthless <laughs> fuck. Give me some of my goddamn fucking food. Like what the fuck? I wouldn't do that. No, like, you know, listen, like on the internet, you talk all this shit. You got a big ass game, but then IRL, you're like, hello, man, I have a hot chucky. Like, where's the alpha, the bravado that you have on the internet? It's like, you know those kids you used to I don't need to debate the Starbucks worker to no, get a fucking no, hot chocolate. No, I'm not saying debate, but you just don't have, you don't have any fucking oomph to you. You're just sad and boring. Okay. You're like those kids you used to shit talk on the internet, and you give them the address, and they'd be like, you know, never sh <laughs> Okay. Am I the same way IRL? No. I'm extremely fucking nuts IRL. Destiny can attest that. I'm fucking batshit. <laughs> Dude, I'm surprised I didn't get fucking shot in that, in that panel. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, you look super un uncomfortable there too. You were like whispering your answer. Dude, what are you talking- I was literally shouting at the fucking 300 pound fucking Mago hat wearing cop next to me. What are you talking about, dude? Oh, oh wait, oh sorry. I was thinking of Jesse Lee Peterson. Oh well, that, it's just different. You've like you act differently. You don't. You're not like 100% like screaming in every single situation, are you? Or are you like that in real life? Well, I mean, I don't think screaming. You're just like docile and submissive. Okay. And on the internet, you're kind of dumb. <laughs> okay. I think I'm pretty polite on the internet too. Like I don't think like in my conversations with Peach, I don't think we've gotten to a point where I'm like fucking screaming at her or anything. That's not what I'm saying. I didn't say you're rude. Okay. I'm not saying you're rude or nice. Like one time, you're just much more confident on the internet, but you don't have that same aura of confidence. Gotcha. I'm very nice to fucking employees. I, I kind of agree with you there. I think anyone who makes like people, like customer service people's lives harder is like scum of the earth. True. I bother the people that aren't involved with me, yeah. I have no shame in making other people, like, uncomfortable and that like, might be weirded out, but I don't, like, harass them. Okay, so I, um, so I, like, just discovered this wonderful thing called hentai, which was, like, cartoon <laughs> porn, which was fascinating, which was amazing. Mm. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? So I discovered hentai, but, like, masturbating to porn was like kind of a weird thing like, I didn't really do it much because um, going on porn on the family computer was very scary because it was in like the main room connected to like the living room the kitchen everything so I got this great idea where I would bring the picture up really quickly and then I would just file print it um, and then I would like take it upstairs with me and then I'd have it and it would be super cool um, <coughs> so I'm in the main room. The only stuff I'd ever really printed before, I think up to that point, was just like papers for school. That was the only stuff I'd ever used the printer for. So I figured I could print this off real quick, run upstairs with it, and I'd be good to go. So I don't know if any of you ever used a printer before. So anyway, I open the picture, and I go to file print it, and I'm sending you the invite code, okay? Okay. So all of a sudden, it starts printing. And I hear the printer spin up, and it's like, <laughs> and I go over and I look at it, and I notice that it is going to take a long fucking time to print this um. goddamn picture, because it is a full color, background, everything <laughs> fucking picture. And I am like, oh shit. I, Cause like people are awake, it's my day. I thought I just like print this shit off real quick and then just like pocket it and go upstairs. And this shit, is taking forever um and it starts going and going and i try and i realize like after like fucking after like a minute of printing and it's only got like half an inch like printed that like this shit is fucked 
and like my parents are like walking around the house and I'm like petrified that my mom is going to walk up and ask me like, oh, Stevie, like, what are you trying to print off? Do you need help or whatever? So like I try to cancel the fucking print job and everything. But like, I don't know, like printers back then were just not good things. Okay. The software was a goddamn fucking nightmare. It was agonizingly fucking horrible. And I remember trying to like close all the print shit on the fucking computer. I remember going to the printer and I tried to like rip the page out and I like ripped the whole page out and then another page would feed and it would just start like reprinting like where it left off. And oh my God, it was like the most nerve wracking, agonizing. I must have ripped like fucking 10 pages out of that printer so that like it didn't look like enough of the image was like being printed for them to identify it. Nobody asked any questions. Like I got away like fine. Like nobody said anything. But like, oh my God, I was so fucking stressed out while that shit was happening. Whew.